opening prayer and then we must have three worship songs mustn't be longer than 20 minutes type of thing and it allowed more room for i guess the spontaneous 100% and yeah so yeah yeah 2020 was it was bad but shame I I got through it. Yeah. Oh, I'm just glad it's that strong. I have bragging rights now and I can say I've matriculated. Dude, yeah, in I 2020, know. 2020. Yeah. So, I was yeah. so worried for you guys. Yeah, I wouldn't be I able to survive. I was worried for myself. Like, I was worried for like, myself. I would I would legit die. Like, like, I don't oh, know. Oh. I don't know how they actually like did it. Yeah. You guys actually like you guys did really well last uh, year. You guys did well. Yeah. Yeah. Like under Thanks. all those circumstances. Literally, oh, I was like, guys. yo. And I was like, no, when the, when like was time for like the results to come out, I was like, no, man, I understand if people mm. didn't. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I yeah, yeah. But like a lot of people did like really well. Yeah, really so, well. Like, given the circumstances. Yeah. Given the circumstances, but yeah. That's, that's really cool. But no, guys. It's, yeah, I'm proud of you guys, though. All no, the really proud. Out there. Thank, thank you. Just like, On yeah, behalf just, of the, the metric class of 2020, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, uh, I think... For me, like in the beginning, I was kind of excited for like lockdown because I was like, you are a break. We can chill and stuff. Mm. And then we were also just doing stuff for like fuel was like like the podcast and mm. the devotionals. And like it was like a really cool space. Um, and then I think just got to the point where it just was like, yo, like, when is this thing ending? Do you know what I'm saying? It just got very like yo. weird. Mm. And I was just like in the house and it got really like depressing to like some certain point and it's like also wasn't seeing like my friend do you know what I'm saying like wasn't yeah. going to fuel so we're just like really depressed and just being like in the house um the entire time um so yeah I feel like that's like tw- I was excited for 2021 to just end basically for me this year that's no I mean sorry <laughs> <laughs> no 2020 to like to like end yeah I was really excited for it to end so that's how yeah. I kind of felt about like last year um and then what is like one thing you guys think you guys like learned like last year or like no let me say like learned what is one thing you guys let go of let go in 2020 yes let me say that yeah. That's such a deep, like, the yeah. deep question. It's not really deep. It's like a tricky one. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. I was like, like, not, not, don't want to say like toxic traits or just like, I don't like, like for me, like one thing that I feel like I let, like I don't think I let go. Like I'm trying to let go of it. It's just like me. I don't want to say lazy, but like unproductive. Do you get what I'm saying? And mm. it's like. I kind of realized that for me, I'm always like, oh, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to go and get my learn my license. I don't have time for it. <laughs> but it's like literally last year, I was in the house the entire time. Mm. And there were things that I didn't do. And like, I realized that I'm the one who's just putting things off and like making excuses. Yeah. So I think for me, one thing that I want to, want to try to get rid of is just being lazy and unproductive. I think for me, that's like one thing that... Yeah. So it's nothing like deep, like oh, like I want to get rid of my controlling behavior. <laughs> something deep, like that. Oh, you like, like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, Belt. Are no, are oh, you controlling? <laughs> I, I don't know. Am I? <laughs> so hectic. <laughs> no, but like nothing deep like that. I feel like for me, it's just I had to get over this like one day when I'm deep mentality. Mm. Like you know, um, for me, like I kind of made like excuses for myself. Yeah. Type of I'm gonna learn how to drive when we get our second car back. Hey, hey this driving dude. It's another situation that on its Guys, own, get your license. Please, just a reminder. As soon as you're 17, get J. Get your go license. Go for your license. <laughs> please. When you're 18, go for your Literally. license. Alright, guys, facts. You no, he, anyway, he has license. No, but like, okay, it's good to you, Alexa. Yeah, so for me, it was like that with most things. Mm-hmm. When I matriculate, I'm gone. When I moved to Cape Town, yeah. I'm gonna. And so, um, this year I told myself I'm gonna be more intentional yeah. about things mm. and like be proactive about mm. things as well. Yeah. Because I mean, that just kind of, I, I realized that that's where my procrastination was coming from, you know, um, those excuses that I made for myself. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So we all procrastinators here. Cool. Are you also Apparently. Or like we, we procrastinate, we procrastinate under rehab right now. Yeah. 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 I feel like nah, also be like guys, yo, for me, I like guys. 
least I didn't do much in 2020. I tried. <laughs> what do you mean you do much? I didn't do much, honestly. Yo. But like, I tried. I tried to do binge watching series. Yo, okay, guys, bro, okay, guys. I, okay, one, one thing I need to let go is I uh, need to delete Netflix, maybe. I'm joking. I, I, feel, like, I, I feel like I agree with that. Surely not delete. Okay, okay. No, not that far. <laughs> yeah, not, not that, that far. far. <laughs> Actually, there's some stuff I need to watch. But, like, I, but for me, um, one thing I need to do more is like maybe with my relationship with God, be more intentional with that, maybe. Mm. Because, like, yeah, like during 20, 2020, um, like, like um i realized was a strong source for me like being so of faith was like because going to church every single sunday and yeah. being at youth and being a leader and then it's like when that all stopped i like it started like off gradually I was like okay i used to like i'm going to i pray every day i do this i do this i do that and then uh like oh gradually like it i get like oh oh i forgot today or yo i'm going to do this i'm going to do that yeah. and then it just becomes like yo and then you go like a month without doing this or like maybe you go like weeks on end without doing that and then it's like that's when it's like Hi guys, and it may be like for me this year. I really want to like go on my own and just like be be myself with God and just like continue like without like needing anyone. I feel like yeah, that's that's my my thing for 2021. It's just like yeah, I don't really need the church and just go. I do need it. Everyone yeah, I was about it. to say yeah, 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 guys. Okay, okay. Um, your word construction. Yeah, I yeah. do need it. Um, yeah, church Pull is very really important. <laughs> community everything yeah, yeah. the church is just the building but like yeah but you really do need it sometimes but like i just want to like be more intentional with my relationship with god like be like um when i'm when i'm reading my bible let me read with intent let me when i'm praying let me pray with intent with something solid going inside like going like just yeah guys i just need to be more intentional for like yeah that's my resolution or yeah my thing going to 2021 so like yeah that's really good i think i think like what what i got from what you were saying is that you you don't want you don't want you don't want to like what's the word for it kind of rely on the church like with your relationship with god yeah yeah i think that's what i got from what you what like you rely said. on people yeah. rely on people with yeah. like your relationship with god and i think for me that's also what like i've learned that it's like it's really personal do you know what i'm saying it's an actual like relationship we yes. actually have to put in work and actually have to talk to to god yeah. do you know what i'm saying like put in the hours and it's like it's a real relationship i think for me that's what i kind of learned with like last year when like church was just God, it was just me and my thoughts it was just me and God and it's like do I actually know God mm. do you know what I'm saying it's like do I when I do I actually spend time with him um and I am I familiar to his voice yeah. um I think that's really what I realized last year and um I think just for like this year like I'm really super excited for like this year with like Chase sure. 20, 21 um I feel like God literally turned the world upside down mm. do you know what I'm saying he, he literally turned the world upside down and I think for me it's a shame like I think it's a shame to hear people like oh like I want to go back to how things were Dude. in last year do you know what I'm saying but it's like yeah. God is trying to do something new God is trying to teach us something new God is trying to like show us himself like do you know what I'm saying like in this point in time and I'm just super like excited even for like I feel like for me like the vision when we just started speaking about it with like our directors and the team leaders I think for me that really got me excited for this mm. year and especially like if it was, was like this December December because December there wasn't church and there wasn't uh-uh. fuel and it was just like a weird it was just a weird time yeah. and then I was I so agree. excited for like January and it's like church is like everything is like back to normal now and it's like constantly feeding I feel like when you don't feed yourself of the word of God like it's just I kind of burn out and yeah. die, do like die yeah. out in my faith in my spirit yeah you know I'm saying so for me I was super excited for the year uh, I hear you though like for me as especially because you start like feeling a bit less empty and then like yeah I feel like you get influenced by things much easier when you just like on your own without God it's yeah just, it's easier to influence you maybe in the wrong path or the wrong direction yeah yeah because yeah and then you without that 
solidness relationship and then it's just like especially when you're used to something that's solid and that like that relationship and then when it's like taken away from you or just when you're not in it anymore or just you become a bit loose you just uh-huh. you can just shape you like hey go here and then you just go and stuff like that so yeah I feel I, I feel you completely in that yeah so like yeah uh, so like, what are you guys chasing? So obviously you've been speaking about how excited we are for the vision for Fuel this year and just our plans for this year. So like, what is it that you are chasing like this year? Like, what are your plans for the year? Do you want to go first? Okay, I can go first. Um, <laughs> for me, I, I said this already. I just want to like um, pursue my relationship with God more. Yeah. And yeah, that's me. And um, also with like school and stuff like that I really want to pursue that and be like more dedicated and work with that and just yeah that's just me for 2021 mm-hmm. and just see where God what, what God has in store for, for me and yeah yeah cool it's cool so I think I'm chasing three things okay because um, when we had that other meeting mm-hmm. um, in your house um, I spoke to Luto and Mando and I feel like I need to remember what these three things are and keep them like that because yeah I'm not going to chop and change them okay. I'm going to be intentional about them yeah. so yeah, yeah. Um, so the first thing that I'm chasing um, or more so I wanted to make sure that before I start chasing I'm not running away from anything Mm, wow. And so, um, wow. one thing that I really wanted to settle and sort out was just um, transparency with my parents and everything and clarity. And <laughs> that was a tense one, hey? <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I've made quite quite some progress mm-hmm. with that. Um, yeah, I staged an intervention the other day, guys, hey. and I'm still alive. Um <laughs> literally praise God (laughs) praise the Lord Um, so that was my first thing Mm -hmm. and then the second thing was I'm chasing four things so there's more okay okay, okay. and then the second thing was just um, I have been really interested in this business venture and everything like that earning a another stream of income Mm -hmm. I guess Mm. Yeah. It's well, like it's like that when you're out of yeah. high school. It's like I need to start thinking of making money. Yeah, because like I've really just been thinking about earning my own money mm-hmm. and like actually doing something that's like constructive. You yeah, know, something I can put on my CV. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third thing is, which sounds really weird, because um, it's well, it's actually awkward because it's not what I'm studying, but I'm chasing medicine. <laughs> But okay. I felt like okay. I felt like I still need to chase it, even though I'm not studying medicine. I'm studying science, and um, yeah, I just feel like what God is telling me was mm-hmm. like in your head when you're chasing something, it's like okay, I'm gonna get it, you yeah. know. But it's not always like handed to me on a silver platter. Mm-hmm. And so I think this year God really wants to show me a, a whole lot more about myself and um, about. The relationship that I have with that career, so I'm excited to see what what that means. What that look like? Yeah, yeah. and what that looks like. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel like being delayed is not a problem for me. I've guys, I've received so many like rejection letters in the past month. It's not even funny. I've been rejected in English and Afrikaans and course, like it's been a vibe. Yeah. But like. <laughs> <laughs> so keep moving but forward. the coolest thing is I have so much peace Wow! Yeah. I have so much peace mm-hmm. it's like I've just been like given this huge cup of the joy of the Lord and wow. his peace that surpasses all understanding because mm. I know that eventually if it is what I'm chasing I'm gonna get it either way mm. you know when he decides you know I love this yeah and then the last thing um yeah, I just really feel like God is so cool, you know. Like he's so goofy and he's weird and he does things in weird ways. Uh-huh. And I just feel like I want to get to know him man. Like God as the person. Mm. You know, mm. um yeah, that's what I'm chasing. I think that's what I'm chasing the most. Cuz yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
I feel like that's it really. Yeah. Because yeah. the way God's been coming through for me, like in the past few months, because mm-hmm. like I did not know how 2021 was going to look. I didn't know where I was going to study. I didn't know whether I was going to send you yeah. thing, move to PE or anything. Yeah. But the way he's been making things clear to me, it's like, dude, why did you do it that way? Mm. You know, like <laughs> no normal person <laughs> does things that way. Yeah. So I really think that God's worth getting to know. Wow. So, yeah. That's so good. That's so good. Um, uh, should, should I share what I'm sharing for 2021? I think you should. Um, okay, for me, I think this year, um, I think that's the biggest thing is I'm, 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 I'm chasing, chasing God. And I'm chasing God. I'm chasing, obviously, yeah, I'm chasing my passions and I'm right. chasing everything. But I feel like, all of that stems from within him. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm chasing him. And it's weird, but I feel like, I don't want to say that this is like a new God, but I feel like for the first time, God is actually defining himself. Wow. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I feel like God is actually, because I feel like for the like for, for a very long time, we've kind of seen God the way the church has kind of defined him and the way people have kind of defined God. And I feel like for the first time, it's kind of like I'm seeing God for who he truly is for the first time in my life. And it's like I'm actually getting to experience him. And I feel like we've just put God in this box. Yeah. Do you know I'm saying? Yeah. In this box. <laughs> and... It's kind of because, like, like, like we were saying, like earlier on, like we're just so used to like church, like, oh, it's the first service and it's like worship and it's yeah. like, and for the first time, it's like God literally ripped that apart and it's like, for we've been calling out for God all these years, you get yeah. what I'm saying? And it's like always like, oh, I'm so hungry for God and I'm so hungry for Him, but it's like, how are we supposed to experience? It's like God, give me a fresh awakening, give me something new, fresh fire, but it's like, how are we supposed to experience something new and something? fresh if we've been doing things like do you know what I'm saying like yeah. the old way for so many years and it's like I'm so excited for this year because God is literally doing something new and for the first time he's showing himself the way God truly is like breaking down like we said earlier on with the barriers of like the church and like the world and it's kind of like there is no gap we're all one you're yes. all my dear like you all my children and it's kind of like I it's like it's like a lot and I think for me like I'm just so excited for this new chapter um, that God is just taking myself and just everyone on and I'm just excited to just chase my purpose and just chase just chase God man and what yeah. God has in store for me um, and it's just weird I just kind of see <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but like like in terms of like the promo video, like we're all like in like running in the promo video and I mm. think for me it's like we're running towards the light. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like I don't know if it's like it's a never ending, but it's like we don't know if we're gonna get to the light, but it's what 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 but it's like we're just chasing you know, it's like this chasing this light and it's just like there's so much joy and happiness and peace and just chasing him do you yeah. know what I'm saying so I'm, I'm really excited for for the year I'm excited for the youth as well I feel like like we were saying it's like I'm so excited for just like the different creatives who are just so like inspired by yes. them so like our promo videos and it's like different kind of people um, and I just really feel like God is bringing us all together and I feel like that's what I've been taking away from 20 you I'm so keen so right. keen yeah it's like like you said earlier on mm. it looks so different but like different's good mm. so good mm. wow 100% So uh, we posted obviously a video um, on the panel discussion. We had um, a few of our team leaders um, and I was just really touched um, about like listening and actually being there while recording it. Mm. So how did you guys like feel 
like watching the the the, the communion talk. Yeah, communion. communion table talk. Sorry, the yeah. communion table talk. For me personally, like mm-hmm. um, like um, like watching them. For me, watching them is like I've seen them since they were small. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like I've seen them since they were like in grade seven, like primary school. Most of them I've known them since they were in primary school, and just see them like grow up and stuff like that. And then, like, hear the things they were saying, like, yeah. the, uh, the maturity in it. And, mm-hmm. like, it, I was, like, so shocked. It was, like, a breath of... A breath. <laughs> a uh, breath. Sorry, guys. guys <laughs> but, like, a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Because I was, like, wow. Like, yo, I never knew, um, like, Lufefe could be, like, so insightful. Literally, dude. And I'm, like, yo. <laughs> what a legend. Like, and I'm, like, wow. Like, it was, like, wow. It was, like, these are, like, some things, like, I never thought of. A hundred percent. I've been thinking in life. And I'm, like, wow. Guys. And I'm, like, listening to Georgia and Mia calling them and I'm like wow like they bring like a new like how like how they viewed it and I'm like experiencing through the, the lens of their eyes yeah. and stuff like that so I was like yeah. I found that really like refreshing and I'm like wow like they, they seem so mature and like it was really it was really nice shame. like I really enjoyed it and it was like such a breath oh, oh, what is wrong Dude. with my English today <laughs> um what is it? Can I explain? Yes, a fresh air. Yo, you see. Don't guys. say it then if you don't know. Yeah, how to yo, it. That's the last time I was saying it. But like, yeah, yo, guys, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's that's it. So like for me, that was really amazing. It was truly amazing, and mm-hmm. yeah, I appreciate it. Like, I appreciate everyone who who shared and spoke about their their lives of, of like how things changed for them. And yeah, yeah, I really appreciate the insightfulness of it also. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Um, like I said, now, now, and my head. now, now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really felt like I was in the in the room, mm. you know, like it was so intimate, you know, and I just thought it was so amazing just to see all of these people, like all of these really amazing people, yeah. speak about things, and it kind of just shows you how much lockdown affected everyone yeah you know? yeah like some things you didn't really know or pick up you know you can't just see it from a status mm-hmm. or a profile picture yeah. or what they post on instagram so it was really nice to see that a lot of us have actually been going through the same thing and that we haven't been alone yeah. you know going through this transformation or um hurt or mm-hmm. disappointment or anger or frustration or whatever it was yeah. and that everyone who is watching could find someone mm-hmm. even if it's just one person who could they, who they could relate to yeah 100%. so that was amazing you guys are amazing it was super cool i was touched by that my parents and i watched that what that's yeah, so and cool and they were like oh my word these that. are really amazing people who are like leading this and yeah. who are key you know, mm-hmm. to touch other people's lives yeah. with their stories. Because it takes a lot. It takes a lot mm-hmm. to, to share. Yeah, just to be You can't just like go this. onto, you know, YouTube. a platform <laughs> yeah. on YouTube, mind you, yeah. and just say, dude, I was actually struggling. Mm. Or, mm. I actually feel more empowered than before, yeah. you know. So, yeah, I'm super happy for you guys. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I totally agree with you guys. Like, like Lita was saying, like the amount of like wisdom, like that, that was shared that was just Dude, like I was amazed yo yeah. I was amazed yo yeah. cause I mean Chanel Chanel sent me a message she was like it was so good I felt so Aww, good yeah and then when I saw it I was like no yeah no definitely yeah, yeah. imagine being in the room oh my word Dude. and it's like the relationship with God just really like kind of shine through do you know yes, what I'm saying and it's yes. like for it's just so inspiring to just see young people who are just so in love with God do you mm. know what I'm saying because for me at that age I was just like yeah but like it's so it's so, it's so yeah. inspiring to just and I feel like it's inspiring for even other like people you know what I'm saying like and it's like they're they're like normal people who go to like school damn you know like they're normal mm. like youth and stuff so I think for me it was just like really inspiring and it's like like Lita was saying like such a fresh Perspective and a breath of fresh air. Dang that word! <laughs> yeah, it, did, it, also, it also got me. It got yeah. me there for a second. So I mean, I I, I really loved um, like watching them. It was really it was really insightful. Yeah. And then guys, we actually had the 
the the most likely, which is what we posted last year. Oh wow! I'm just saying last, last week. year, last <laughs> week. <laughs> what is wrong with us, bro? With the uh, with with our directors, yeah. um, it was myself, Lita. It was Rondo, Rondo like, and it was Setu, aka Bob. Bro, that was funny, bro. It was. <laughs> I'm still on the fact that Lita said that he's always right. Which like, I am. You know, wow, you're so saying. Like, I stand by it. Oh. I'm joking, guys. I'm not, but like, I am, but like, I'm joking, but like, I'm not joking at the same time. So, like, you guys get me, but like, yeah, I'm joking though. Okay, then but Lita, am I? Dude, whatever you are say, you really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lita. <laughs> but like, hi, guys. I was funny though. Yeah, it did, was funny. We did Londo Dirty over there. Yo, yo I Bro, I think twice. What was I don't I it don't was know. Twice. We, we, we didn't did, did it twice, twice, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, it was yeah, hilarious. It was hilarious. I, sh- I can't believe you guys think I'd get arrested first. I okay. feel like you would though. I would, but like it's because But you you also you said really that was the first you don't question. Know how to explain yourself. I, sh- I don't, but like I I'm also like a wild being. I'm joking. I'm not that wild, but I feel like I I wouldn't get it. I just feel like you just do sometimes. You don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Then you just <laughs> no not like in a bad way, but you yeah. just you just I feel like you'd get arrested by accident. Right. What? Exactly. How do you get arrested I by agree. accident? I didn't mean to. What? I, I fell into these handcuffs. <laughs> How do you get arrested <laughs> by accident? <laughs> like, I, um, but I, I've had a running with the cops a couple of times. Exactly. Right. Exactly. But like nothing bad. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still me. Yeah. But yeah, nothing Scary. bad happened. <laughs> yeah, it's just just one of those things, guys. Hey, part of, hey. part of, of times. the pains of growing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the pains of growing, getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like yeah guys it's just it's one of those things but like I truly enjoyed our most likely thing Lord. yeah that was I really fun think, to like, make yeah. fun to watch yeah it was really fun to make it was kind of like breath of fresh air <laughs> <laughs> that would uh, guys let's leave just it let in it go. <laughs> let's also leave no it in more. 2020 no yeah, more dude literally yeah, uh, no but I think I, I'm just really excited for um, all our content. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for the podcast. Mm. Um, I don't think we, we kind of have, we're gonna, I think we're having a lot more interviews, um, just random conversations, topics, um, controversial topics, hopefully. I mean, I feel like, I feel like we need to speak about like those controversial topics because mm. if we don't, then we leave it to like the world yeah. to define. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think, yeah, I'm excited for just like the chats and, and, and all of that and, yeah, guys, I enjoyed the conversation today. I did Me too. too. It was yeah. cute. It was chill. Yeah. It was cute. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I think we, we, we can close off now, right? We can close off now. So, guys, yeah, um, this will be... Okay, obviously, guys, I don't know how to close off. <laughs> Season 2, episode 1. <laughs> Wait, how do I close off? Okay, guys. Yo, yeah. next month. Just okay. say join us for our next podcast. Okay. Um, in the near future. In the near future. Okay. Yeah, near future. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Fuel Youth podcast. Um, I think we'll be posting. Uh, should I speak close to the mic? Okay, sorry. I think my voice went down. Okay. Um, okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining our Fuel Youth um, podcast. It was an amazing conversation. It was really chilled, light conversation. Cute. Um, so I think just stay tuned next month for our next podcast and just stay tuned for our, our up- upcoming like YouTube videos that we'll be posting on, on Instagram it's Feel Youth um, I think the description will be down below somewhere up there I don't know but yeah thank you guys so much um, and see you on the flip side bye bye <laughs> <laughs>